Hello, my friends. This is Logan Jacob. Today, I've got something a little bit different than my usual content for my channel. Um, I have just received uh, yesterday or two days ago a MacBook Pro. This is a 2020 MacBook Pro with the M1 processor. And I'm going to do a little bit of testing of it over the next couple of weeks, uh, obviously focusing mostly on music uh, and video production as my channel normally does. But for um, today, I'm going to do something a little bit different. Uh, one of my other hobbies that I'm a big fan of is Magic the Gathering, and I play a lot of Magic Arena. Now, I am by no means good enough to post streams of my games or anything like that um you guys would just probably you know magic fans would just make fun of me endlessly uh for being a terrible player but i do play casually i do think it's a lot of fun and i thought it would be interesting for some of you to see how magic arena works on the new m1 processors so uh just to show you real quick i've got obs recording one of my screens here my second screen and Here's what the specs on the Mac look like. Um, this is uh, just the stock 2020 M1 MacBook Pro 13 inch at eight gigs of RAM. It doesn't even have the updated uh, 16 gigs of RAM or anything crazy. Um, this is a 256 gig version, which in three days I've managed to fill up halfway, but that's pretty much everything that I'm gonna be using uh, it for for now and i do have a terabit uh ssd external drive for music and, and video production and stuff that i'm going to be doing so nothing fancy here if you have not played magic arena on a mac you know uh you may not know that you have to go through the epic game store to be able to do that um so i've installed epic games i have launched uh, Magic Arena once on this computer just to let it update and go through the the couple of basic uh, screens but I wanted to start here with it closed so you can see the launch time and all this stuff and I'm just going to maybe play through a game or two uh, over the next couple of minutes in just best of one and see how it goes and again uh, while this is loading I am by no means a professional Magic player um, or anything like that my uh, my magic skills are probably uh, very lacking compared to to some of you all out there but we can at least see how the performance is well so far the biggest problem is that it is tiny so let's see if I can fix that uh, gosh I can barely see that graphics can we make this full screen hey there we go now we're full screen and we're going to set it to high quality graphics and see how it goes. And I'm going to go ahead and turn off the sound effects just so, um, I don't know if it's recording those anyway, but just for my sake, we'll just turn all the audio off. I don't usually use those anyway. Although there is some pretty cool stuff in there. I think they've, they've done a good job, I think, with... Um, Magic Arena. Okay, so let's see how it goes. Loaded pretty fast. I'm fairly impressed with that. So uh, we're going to do, let's just go into the play set. Eh, we'll do standard ranked. Why not? Might as well do something useful. And I'm going to use the Demir Rogues deck. Now, this is not the tier one uh, Demir Rogues. I'm missing some of the lands from that. But um, we'll just play a game here and see how it goes. Please don't, uh, I say don't make fun of me. Feel free to, to go ahead and comment uh, all the terrible plays that I make um, in this. But we'll just kind of see how performance is with everything set on high. Uh, okay, that looks decent. I usually prefer to start with a ruined crab out there, but that's okay. We'll, we'll, we can start with the, uh, the wind robber. Play an island and a wind robber. Say go. Probably would have made more sense to go ahead and play the the backwater, since it comes in tapped, so that I would have access to black mana next turn. But that's okay. What we'll do is play a ruined crab, and we will at least mill them for a few, and then we can go ahead and attack for one. Boing. So, so far everything seems nice and smooth. I've heard complaints from uh, other folks about the Mac client not working terribly well, 
but I don't seem to be having any trouble with it. Mill them for another three. Let's see. I have not played against this deck yet, so it looks like some kind of blue-red wizards spells deck. Um, I don't play all that often, so I'm not familiar with the, the full meta or anything like that. And we're going to keep the Drown of the Lock up and available. Mm, no, I don't want him to do that. I like my crab. And that's why we keep counters up. <laughs> All right, fine. Kill the crab. <laughs> what you thinking about, opponent? I do love the dogs. Yes, flaming pupper. Eating Jace, good puppy. Well, hopefully this isn't a network lag and it's actually them causing problems. All right, so um, let's go ahead and get another source of blackout. And why don't we, well, let's just attack first. Mill that card, okay. And we'll go ahead and get Luris ready to come in next turn and still leave mana open to flash in the Guild Enforcer. Dissolve your opt. I'm personally offended that they don't have the better artwork for opt. Hmm, gotta be careful drawing that many cards, opponent. Resolve. Pass to attackers. Okay, we'll go ahead and flash in the Guild Enforcer and go to my turn. We got land. Might as well go ahead and get Luris out there. And probably should have waited to play that land until I had the crab out, but you know. If that's the worst mistake I make this game, then we're doing okay. Yep. What does that do? Here's a battlefield exile target card from a graveyard. Exile opponent's graveyard and draw a card. Okay. Guess that makes it so that I can't get my creatures back with Luris. Okay. Um, I guess we'll take a temple. Do I want to draw some cards? Sure. Drawing cards is always fun. Okay. We will swing with everything but the crab. Well, they're going to have to come up with some answers here pretty soon, aren't they? Let's see what they got. I will mill 
one too, so I guess it was pointless to scry. I should have known that. Surely they've got some kind of win con in here somewhere. Really impressed with the uh, performance so far, though. Let's see. The player draws X cards, deals two damage to one target creature, planeswalker. Um, sure. Kill Oris. Buys you another turn. My Heartless Act seems to be kind of pointless here since they apparently don't have any creatures. There's a creature. We'll draw a card. Let's just exile that channel force. Okay. Go ahead and drop that out there. Let my rogues get beefed a little bit. So I suppose we will mill them for three and then take them to one. Attack with the guild enforcer and the wind robber anyway so my other computer is a um you know older gaming laptop but it's pretty decent and uh this seems to be hanging with it pretty well i'm uh i'm impressed considering that i had heard that some of the intel macs were having some issues with performance and stuff um you know i've got it on high quality i haven't really noticed too much lag or anything crazy um you know, everything seems to be working just fine. Let's see, is he going to mill me out before we... Uh... Oh, I still have 30 cards on my... He's going to have to go a long way to get me there. But crazier things have happened. So as I said, I'll, uh, over the next few weeks, I'm going to do some tests with Logic and I'll... Uh, pull some of my logic projects up and some final cut projects and just kind of let everybody see how the, uh, the M one MacBook pro is doing with that stuff. And again, this is just the base model with eight gigs of Ram. It's nothing crazy. It's, um, you know, I think it was like 1200 bucks or something like that. Uh, I'm actually pretty fortunate. This is my work computer. Um, I work at a university and was able to, uh, convince them to buy me this as my main computer because I do produce some videos and stuff for my classes, uh, especially since most of my students are virtual this semester. So yeah, worked out pretty well. Got my uh, got my W, even ranked up to silver tier two. Man, I am on the way to victory. Cool. Well, I think that's probably going to do it. I uh, hope you guys found this to be a little bit useful for you. Um, I know most of my subscribers are probably not Magic players, but maybe some other folks will come across it and see uh, that it's a little bit useful. Thanks very much for checking it out. Um, if you want to see more Magic content on here, feel free to comment that. I probably won't play much, but um, I'll do what I can. If you're interested in other performance stuff for the MacBook M1, uh, list some apps you want me to check out or any um, tests that you want me to run on it and I'll do whatever I can to try to give you an idea of whether or not this will be a good fit for you. Um, I'm definitely impressed with it so far. I have used it to produce a couple of videos so far and uh, it's been wonderful. Uh, I'm really excited about it. I think Apple has really stepped up their game. Um, you know, Apple computers have always been fantastic, but I think um, this new M1 series is is really amazing and I'm looking forward to uh, using it for a while. Thanks very much, guys, and I will see you later on.